when it comes to trademarks, when it comes to potential trademark infringement, um, the company name is completely irrelevant. So I could... Not sure if we could call our company Apple, but you know, you basically can call your company whatever you want as long as it's not taken in that state. What really matters is how you call your product. That's the point where you need a trademark uh, support. So you could theoretically just keep your old company name uh, if you wanted to, so it doesn't really matter too much, but um, the, the product is actually the, the point where you would then infringe potentially um, some, some trademarks. So what you have to do in the beginning, also 100 monkeys, they do like a pre preliminary test of and a check, like what, how does the trademark situation look like? And so we work with trademark lawyers then afterwards to really do like a deep dive, like a full, full search. And what you do, there are a bunch of registrars where you can uh, search for, for certain trademarks. And trademarks are usually defined for certain parts of the industry. You don't want to define the, the trademark on everything. That doesn't work. You need to have a certain narrow scope. Um, the same with a patent. You cannot just patent breathing or something. That doesn't work. Uh, although sometimes patents are a bit broader than they should be. But anyway, uh, so you, you need to figure that out. And I think that's the most important part. The domains for sure, right? They're just getting uh, all the domains. And I think we just, uh, we currently have our renaming, uh, um, like the, the, the renaming is, there, there are just so, so many things you need to, uh, to look at, right? Uh, for example, all the content everywhere where the company is mentioned, all of these things. But I think that the, the basis is really figuring out the trademark situation. Once that is solid, you know, like, okay, I can do this. 